Welcome to the Police and Fire Committee meeting on 5823 at 6.30. All members present. And um, Bernie, do you want to take the lead? Yes. Thanks, Greg, or Mr. Clement. Uh, today, I want to uh, go over some ordinances that we've already talked about, but I don't want to read them in full. I just want to make sure uh, we're all on the same page when it comes to what's going to be discussed tonight. So ordinance 2123 is uh, an ordinance that basically, and some of these were supposed to be ready for last meeting. That's why there's a bunch of ordinances we're going over now. But this ordinance 2123 is basically splitting the code enforcement position slash admin position into two separate roles and specifying uh, the, the pay for each. And the code enforcement pay will remain the same as previously and is uh, already uh, outlined in, in the union bylaws or, or, or charter. And then uh, the administrative assistant pay was from between 14 and 16 dollars per hour depending on experience so this is just an ordinance that puts those two positions under the city city manager's department which the, and, and they're both part-time positions up to 30 hours per week uh, in a, another <coughs> staffing ordinance i specify for for the part-time administrative assistance, three steps, 12, 14, and 16. Again, depending on where they come in, based on experience, uh, they'll be placed. And then uh, I also uh, outlined in that, that a part, uh, well, the part-time position um, for the uh, code enforcer and the part-time position for the admin doesn't include uh, health, uh, health benefits except for eye and uh, dental in, in life. So ordinance 2123 covers splitting the position and then ordinance uh, 24. I have a question on sure. that one. Sure. It says here um, staffing part-time code secretary. There, there is no Code part time code secretary, correct? That wasn't that wasn't in there, but we can we can uh, scratch out secretary. Yeah, we can we can we can scratch out that line. Okay. Uh, no, I forgot to grab a pen. Oh, here's a pen right here. Yeah, good catch. So if we'll leave, when we read that ordinance, we'll okay. make a note that we're gonna. Scratch out because it's redundant. Um, is there anything else? Yeah. So we on the staffing ordinance, there is no uh, position for administrative assistant, but that person has already been hired. Uh, on the staffing ordinance, that's going to be read today. Yeah, but the, I mean was, the current one. Yes. That that person was was hired. So the person was hired before the position is created. Well, I was told by by Tony that I could hire for the position when the ordinance wasn't ready, or uh, that that meeting. She would be hired, you know, okay. hired along with uh, along with uh, uh, the code enforcement position. When did the administrative assistance start? Uh, Monday. Last Monday, right? Yeah, last Monday. So on right. 5 1. And the code person has already started? Just today. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And the code position is a union position. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that was, so, that was already clear through the union. Right, but I believe council has to vote to hire that person ahead of time. No, a yeah, union position. Yeah. No, it's no different than hiring a utility employee. The only ones that we do is, I think, the police and fire. That's it. Okay. 
Okay. All right. That's all I have on this one right now. Okay. So we'll take out part time code secretary out of ordinance 2123 and we'll make sure that that's clear. Um, I mean, the, the one the one thing I mean we could do is, uh, I mean I was I was told I could I could hire an admin and, and uh, the code enforcer. I, I asked Tony when we were sitting here because the ordinance wasn't ready, but I also had the uh, approval to hire a temporary person for those positions as well until. You know, we found somebody full time. So I just want to make make sure. You know, you don't you're not thinking I overstepped yeah. my bounds here. No, I think everyone's aware of that. All right, make sure. Uh, the other the other position that I wanted to that we don't currently have uh, that I wanted to create <coughs> was a uh, interim. Uh, Chief of Police and an interim chief of fire, um, so that we could have a interim police chief and police fire salary established. So uh, if we have to uh, have somebody step out of those positions, they're not stepping in at the top of the of the scale um, and since the salary bands were already established for the, for the police chief 58 to 75,000 and actually when I went back and looked in the staffing ordinance that I just amended it was 52 to 75 but I decided to be consistent with what we published for for the job and uh, in an effort not to create any animosity or dissension, uh, if we, and when we hire a new police chief, I wanted to create this position so that we have the interim police chief at the appropriate salary level before a new police chief comes in. So what I pr proposed here is that we have a pay chart for the interim chief of police and interim chief of fire uh, based on the same salary range, 58 to 75. But if you become an interim chief, you would you would be at the minimum of that range because typically when we when we're having to bring in a in an emergency situation, we would make uh, the the next highest level position the most senior position into that interim police position. So typically from talking with some of the other police chiefs in the area, that's normally a 10% to 20% bump in pay max. So even taking uh, a chief up to the minimum 58,000 base is still a substantial increase. And then this way, if we bring in a chief that's not all the way up at the top end of the spectrum, we have a, a room to work to work them in, you know, at mid level or or a little higher, wherever wherever that experience level fits. I have a good idea. Okay. I agree. Okay. So um, the interim. Chief would then uh, be put on a monthly contract as well, so uh, which would be which would auto renew until a full time police chief was was designated. So does that apply to the current situation we're in? It, it would apply to the current situation that we're in because we have to we have to establish this now before we start the hiring process and, and bringing in a, an achieve. Okay. 
Three. Okay. I, I know it's not the, the best scenario, um, but it's something that we, we, we don't want to create any kind of animosity when somebody else comes in if the uh, interim chief is at the, the highest or actually above right now with what we're considering the band level for this position. Yeah, um, that's a good point. Okay. This is probably something that should have been created prior, prior to prior to, prior to whenever, <coughs> you know, so that was, this was already established. So that's that's going to be ordinance twenty four twenty three. Um, and uh, 25, the next ordinance is obviously pulling all, all of this together uh, and putting it in the staffing ordinance uh, for the city and the departments. Um, so in, in the police department pay chart, there's going to be a, a chief of police band, uh, 58 to 75. And this this wording was actually in the ordinance. And the only thing I changed about the police department ban was taking it from 52 to 58, because that's what we had posted for the position. Set by council was already in there previously. And then I added the, uh, if an interim chief is required, his or her con contract will be on an interim month to month basis, and their starting salary shall be 58. Now down the road, if we decide to change the ban, then we will change the, uh, the inter interim starting position. Now, I would never hire for a position like this without approval of the salary, you know, in between this band. So when we decide on a chief, you know, that position would be presented or that person would be presented to the council. And then at that time we would know what we would be offering that that person, and then uh, they would fall in between that in, in between that range. So basically, you would recommend the chief and then salary. Yeah, the council would vote. Right, and you would vote on that, right? Because you do vote on that that position. Yep. And the same for uh, the fire department. Same verbiage, just starting salary shall be fifty eight. Um, and then uh, I did include. Um, everything else remained the same uh, under utilities, <coughs> under the uh, auditors, deputy auditor and account clerk, code enforcer. Uh, that that remained that remained the same. That was already on there. And then I just added the administrative assistant pay scale based on experience: fourteen, fifteen, or sixteen. Uh, and then. In, in uh, line 14, uh, because of the part-time positions, part-time employees shall be offered dental, eye, and life insurance. Health insurance will not be offered for part-time employees. Okay. Any any additions or <coughs> comments to one of those three? This is outside of the police and fire, but the um let me find it again. The wastewater operator, our current operator makes how much? Is it step one, two, or three? Uh waste uh Jason, you, well, you might yeah, but I don't know what the scales are. I know he's on step two, but I don't know what the scales are. I think he's above scale. So step two is 27.05 an hour. I, I wasn't prepared to answer that question. Okay. Okay. That's I mean, because uh, they also that that pay scale is a base rate. If they, <coughs> if they've taken any additional training, they get extra incentives, right? Yeah. So, but, um, yeah. Down there. It was a little bit different when he was right. hired. He, yeah. I believe he's above step two. 
A little bit. Okay. So okay. somewhere between two and three. I think it's council. I think it's two percent above because council's two percent. Right. Okay. Oh, but uh, I'm sorry. This this these pay charts already include the two percent raise. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't answer. reviewed this copy. I'm sorry. Right. No. This this one. All of these pay scales reflect. Uh, the two percent raise. Okay. All right. All right. I'll ask that at yeah. a different time. Yeah. I'll find out. Sure. Okay. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna pull it All right. Uh, all the other ordinances related to police and fire were just separated out by uh, by the monetary amount, mm -hmm. and in, in I think with one exception, where um, there were like five or six grants under the same line item, and we just put those under one ordinance, mentioned the, the values, and then combined them in one number. So between Harry and uh, uh, Devin, that, that was probably 10 of these ordinances. And actually, there's one more ordinance in here. Uh, and that, that ordinance, ordinance is, Finally, addressing um, Harry's uh, uh, salary, where we're taking out the IT component, and so that would be Ordinance Twenty Two Twenty Three, uh, where Harry's new salary shall be sixty nine oh seven one point six, uh, and, and, and it mentions in here Tier One IT special shall be removed from Harry Barber's job. Um, And whereas the, uh, the salary that he, that he will be making will include the $8,190 uh, in IT stipend. So he had a previous salary of $60,881. Uh, that was set forth in ordinance 07-23. Okay. Um, and then Anything else on the ordinances? Uh, that, that's all that I have. Okay. That I can think of, unless you have a topic you want to bring up. Well, first, any comments from committee members on I the like ordinances? The I like the direction that it's gone in. Okay. All right. Um, any other discussion on anything? All right. No, you shall. Oh, well, well, do I need to close this down, reopen another meeting for, mm -hmm. for finance? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, does somebody want to adjourn this meeting? Yeah, we'll adjourn at 647.